Hello guys, Max and Monty 15 and 16 here back again with another Thomson Railway review. So today I'll be revisiting one of my oldest reviews, which is the Greyface Troublesome Truck, and I'm going to talk about it again probably in more detail and a little bit in my newer style considering that my old reviews were crap. So anyway, let's just dive right in. The Greyface Troublesome Truck was first introduced, I believe in 1993 when it was first predecessed by um, the white face troublesome truck, which was obviously introduced in 1992, discontinued in 1993, you know, it's the, people say it's the rarest item, which it's, it's totally not, there are like 15 more items that are rarer than that, like Metallic Hero, or Sparkling Clean Thomas, or any prototype, or something like that, but that's just my opinion, and I'll probably get killed by that for uh, saying that, but let's just talk about the gray-faced troublesome truck, because I don't want to go into detail on the white-faced troublesome truck, because that's a whole nother can of worms that I'm not going to open up. So, anyway, obviously we can see the gray-faced troublesome truck is a really simplistic design, basically just a block of wood with the carving that looks like planks, which is a nice touch, I think. So, it's obviously just these four blocks of wood glued together on one more chassis with wheels in it. Mine doesn't have staples, and I believe it's from, um... Mine is from 1997, so it's got the really big round magnets that were common on some of the other items. And so, it's got a smaller cover, or like hole or something, so you can't put normal cargo in there. However, I do believe that you could put the smaller cargo from like Lori 1 or something. Yeah, you can fit that in there, so at least that works, but it's a tight fit. So, um, as, you, as you guys can probably see from other YouTubers or something... These um, are pretty prone to, like, breaking, like, the sides can break off and something. That happened to mine, which you can see, like, some of the glue coming through and on the inside as well, if you guys can see that. So, yeah, like, you can obviously see the crack, um, hopefully. Um, but, yeah, I glued it back together, and so it's just good as new. So, I got this on eBay for, like, 24 bucks. Not a bad deal, but still, you can find them for cheaper. If you look hard enough. I still think that this face is really good. Even though a lot of people would disagree with me on that. It does look a lot like the one from the white face troublesome trick. Or the troublesome brake van. So overall. This was just a pretty simplistic review for a pretty simplistic item. That's why it has charm in my opinion. I mean obviously this is a staple of so many wooden railway collections. No pun intended even though mine doesn't actually have staples. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for my review on the Greyface Troublesome Truck. So thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day. Max and Monty, 15 and 16, signing out.